What's up, my soldiers? I'm the Alliance. Welcome back to the video. Today, we have a different type of video. Today, we're gonna be asking the question, is it ethical to have Star Wars Episode Nine split into two parts? Um, now, this is a rumor that has been circulating around the, the web for a while. Um, I haven't actually been able to cover this yet because I've been busy for the last month uh, taking care of my newborn daughter. But now that things seem to be going okay, and I'm getting the swing of things, um, I'm able to record more and do more videos. So that's what's going on. Now with that said, you may have noticed something different with my layouts. Um, I actually got a new desk set up. It's a desk that kind of like sits and stands so I can do it sitting, or I can do it standing. So it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm cleaning up the rest of my office too. So um, yeah, I got some lightsabers on. Some of the batteries are dead in the other ones, but it still looks pretty cool like that. So I left them on. Maybe I'll do like a desk setup video. If you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments below. But um, with that all said, let's begin. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be hitting the good points, we're hitting the bad points. But let's start with the good before we hit the bad. Our first reason, and probably the biggest reason for all the Star Wars fans, is that two movies could essentially allow the fixing of the problems that were made in The Last Jedi. Now regardless of how you liked The Last Jedi, it was a very uh, divisive film. Some people loved it, some people hated it. Um, Initially, I was just kind of in the middle. Now I'm kind of more in the could have been better state, and um, well, it could have been better. And so, if Episode Nine is just one movie, um, there's less time to kind of fix the mistakes of the past. Where there's just two movies, you have a lot more time. So, Star Wars: The Last Jedi was the longest Star Wars film yet, at two hours and thirty minutes. And so, if we did that exact same thing with both parts of Episode Nine. That's essentially five hours to play with. So part one could kind of be like the fixing part, kind of taking the mistakes of The Last Jedi, kind of saying I'm sorry to the fans and you know people who, who really got offended by it, which is the majority of um, fans, it seems, and um, kind of getting back on track. And then part two can really be the episode nine that we were all been looking for. So like I said, instead of having two and a half hours to not only do course correction, but also tell a good story, we could have five hours, maybe half of that could be dedicated to course correction of the trilogy, and then part two could essentially be the actual story that we've been waiting for and wanting to see. So while there are some good things about this, we'll get to the bad stuff later, but I'm not 100% against this idea. I do wanna hear what you guys think though. Another pro is that we get to spend more time with these newly introduced characters. Think about it, Ray, Poe, Finn, these are our three leads. When it comes down to it, we only just met them. It doesn't matter how much you um, hate them or if you love them, we just met them in a way. Uh, they've only been around since 2015, essentially, when episode seven came out. So it's kind of like, these characters are still new. Although technically they aren't new, they are still new when it comes to movie standards. You know, we've only seen them in two movies so far and both movies weren't exactly the best showing of these characters. So I'm thinking if they do a part one and a part two, they have plenty of time to not only flesh out the characters more, but also allow us to spend more time with these characters. Now, not only can we spend more time with the characters, but we can also have more time to better improve bad characters. And you guys already know who I'm talking about, Rose Tycho. Now, someone told me that it's actually Rose Tico, but I kind of feel like Tico sounds like an Asian trying to say taco. Do you know, and I think that's kind of racist, so I'm not gonna say it like that. Because you know, I'm not racist. But in all seriousness, guys, Rose could totally be improved upon. And I think that's gonna be one of the biggest objectives of this next film, is to really make Rose the character she's meant to be. I'm gonna talk about my final pro. It's not really a final pro for the fans, it's more of a final pro for the Disney. The reason why they would do a part one and a part two, why Disney, besides making the story or course correcting the saga, is because of the money. Um, that cheddar, you know? When it comes down to it, it's all about the money. We've seen this done before, plenty of times. Um, we got Breaking Dawn Part 1, Part 2, that was the Twilight series. The final book was broken into two. Um, then you have The Hunger Games, the final book was broken into two. And so some fans try to defend the whole Part 1 and Part 2 thing by saying that the story is just so grandeur and so massive, you just can't fit all that into one movie. And I beg to differ, and it's bullcrap, and um, some fans are clearly um, delusional when it comes to that. But um, we'll talk about more of that in the bad section. Right now I'm still in the good, so I'm going to talk about the good. Now of course the difference between the Twilight Saga and the Hunger Games Saga is that those are based off of books. So regardless of how you feel about them, 
their movies and their stories are based off of books and stories from the books. And so that's kind of why they have more um, source material to pull from, where this new Star Wars trilogy is pretty much just being pulled out of nowhere. And as we saw from The Last Jedi, there's clearly no idea what's going on. I think they know what they want to do with Kylo and Rey, but everybody else and everything else about the story, the characters, everything else pretty much is kind of just like, what? And when I say Rey, I don't mean like even her backstory or who she is. I think they have a plan where she's going to go, but they have no idea where she came from, you know? So um, hopefully JJ fixes that and, and makes it actually the way it's supposed to be. So like I said, the main reason that episode nine would be split into two parts is to just make money by Disney. And it totally would make money, especially if part one was good, course corrected the problems of The Last Jedi, and pretty much continued on to um, make part two more cohesive with it and really get us pumped for it. Now moving on to the bad of part ones and part twos. When it comes down to it, the story could drag in some parts and be sped up way too quick. Um, we've seen this in both the Twilight movies and The Hunger Games part one and part two. Um, the first part is so slow and nothing goes on. It's just a pretty much basic um, standard story and it's just there to kind of make a bridge to part two. And it's, it's almost like part one is just there to kind of just lead up to part two. Like part one is the, um, the prologue to the true story which comes in part two. But then sometimes the part two, and I noticed this in the Hunger Games for sure, is that it feels like it's rushed. So like part one is so slow and boring and then part two just flies by, you know? And uh, that's a problem. I don't like that when movies do that. Now I haven't seen the Twilight movies in a long time but I remember thinking that. I remember thinking that Breaking Dawn part one was very slow and the Breaking Dawn part two just flew by. And I understand it's a Twilight movie so it can't be that great but I definitely feel like the ball was dropped. And it's the same thing with Hunger Games in a way. The Hunger Games Mockingjay part one was just kind of slow. And then part two came around and it just flew by. And that's even worse because if you look at that story, everything that Katniss did in part two was pretty much pointless. She could be taken completely out of the movie and the events would still unfold the same with Katniss not even there. So um, of course that's probably for like a, you know, Hunger Games review in the future. Sorry to get too far on a tangent, but this is what I'm talking about. There's a lot of problems that go with making it part one and part two. Now those are my bad examples, but we have seen a good example of part one, at least one. If you want, you, there's different stuff you can say is on there, but when it comes down to it, uh, Avengers Infinity War, uh, pretty much part one of Avengers 4, is a good, or Avengers 3 I should say, I, I don't know. It counts as a part one, and uh, I think it did a good job of being a part one. You know, it, it raised the stakes, it made us love the characters, it made us cry in the end, and now we're all excited to see what happens in part four. You know, it prepared us for the next chapter, and it wasn't slow. It kept going. The story actually felt like it made sense, and we wanted more. So it's possible for Star Wars to be able to do the exact same thing, but it all depends on the creative team above it. It all depends on how JJ, Kathleen Kennedy, and the rest of Lucasfilm and Disney really want to approach this. So um, they have all the tools in their arsenal to produce one of the best films ever. So all they have to do is produce and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Another con I have is that the characters could lose their grandeur and overstay their welcome. What I mean by this is that essentially the characters could get boring. We could see them too much. There's a such thing as too much of a good thing, and I feel like that could be a thing with this. Um, characters that aren't meant to be so in your face are essentially forced into five hours of being in your face, and so you could kind of get annoyed by them or just kind of get tired of seeing them. So it all depends on how the characters are written, of course. But I have this suspicion that if The Last Jedi had an extra two and a half hours in it, and there was a bunch more rows in it, people would really be angry. So we don't want that to happen. We don't want people to get to the point where they're looking at Rey and going, I don't like this character. Looking at Kylo and going, I don't like this character. And people are already doing that. So like I said, a part one would be a good course correction, but um, it all depends. So this video is kind of getting long now. So I'm going to skip past a few of my other points and get to my main big reason why this could be a bad thing. Pretty much the most important reason is that this would pretty much mess up the whole Star Wars saga and the whole trilogies thing. 
Um, you could say that part one and part two is essentially just one movie and it counts as the ninth film. But a part one would be more considered um, episode nine and then part two would be considered episode 10. And while I'd like to have like the saga end on like a number like 10, that might just be like my OCD kicking in. My OCD is also kicking in because Star Wars has always been a trilogy thing. You know, they've always had episode one to three, episode four through six, and we're gonna have episode seven through nine. So there's something about it that just doesn't feel right. There's something about taking episode nine, the final chapter, and splitting it into two movies that just doesn't feel right. It feels, um, it feels almost like a slap in the face to Star Wars fans, and I know that might sound weird, and I may be the only person who feels this way, but I think that they should not do that. So, pretty much, when it comes down to it, yes, that's kind of a pet peeve of mine, but it's not that big of a deal. So those are pretty much all my points. I gave the good, I gave the bad. Now I want to hear what you guys think. What do you want to see? Do you want to see The Last Jedi into two parts, or do you want to keep it as one cohesive film? What are some of the pros you guys think? What are some of the cons? Let me know, comments below. Please wanna like, subscribe, and turn notifications for more videos like this. And until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.